Yo, what's poppin' my people? It's your boy CTG and I'm back at you guys with another banger of a UFC 5 video. And in today's video, we're gonna be using the new Alter Ego Uriah Faber in the UFC 5 featherweight division. Now, for those of you guys that haven't had the pleasure of being able to use Uriah Faber, or if you're just grinding for them 15,000 coins that it costs just to get him, it's very, very worth it, man. He's very, very good here uh, in UFC 5. And surprisingly so. I didn't think he was going to be as good as he is. So as you guys can see, my opponent here obviously thought the same idea. He was going to use the new Alter Ego too. Even if it meant mirror matching me. So here we're on the bottom. He is in top half guard right here. Raining down some nice ground and pound. And we're able to get to sprawl. But this Uriah Faber does have really good ground control. I believe he has 95 top control with 93 off the back with a 95 takedown so be expecting a lot of grappling if you're going up against him and to grapple if you are going to be using him and right here Ingersi's going for the rear naked choke he's going to fake we don't bite on it he's draining our stamina down we're just staying patient we're not trying to rush anything both of us have no stam he faked right there to try to get us to bite on it so that way he could get an easier sub but really right here he's kind of failing to be honest because he just worked his stamina all the way down and he has to take the top mount right there and we're able to escape that position pretty easily so here he's in top mount and our goal really right here is just to make him work we're not gonna we're not gonna be trying to Really try to get up because he's going to be doing everything in his power not to let us get back up to our feet, as you guys can see right there. And he's going to be trying to get a sub on us, so we have to have the stamina advantage. And for those of you guys that really struggle with submission defense, this is the key to it. It's a lot easier for submission artists, guys like Treehouse, you know, guys like this guy, Ingressy, that's going for subs. Like, it's very, very easily for them to get subs if you just go buck wild and they're denying everything so that's why you see a staying patient right here we're making him work we try to transition to full guard he did a good job of blocking it he's posturing up we block that hook and look at what it's doing to his long-term stamina he's already at a stamina disadvantage and he's just been grappling on top the entire time and that's what i mean by just making your opponents work even if they get takedowns, you want to make them have to give the effort to do so. Because on this patch, the more, the harder you work, the more stamina you're going to lose. So right there with 10 seconds left. Although he did pretty much, he was in our half guard and in our side control for the whole round. We'll take that. We'll take that. So I bet you he's probably feeling pretty good right now. He's like, hey, you know what? I held Crooks down the entire first round. And his confidence is probably high, but this is a five-rounder. And I guarantee you, he's not going to go all five rounds. Especially with that with that stamina deficit, he's pretty much already going to have here in this second round. So here we go. We're in the blue. And as you can see, he's already lost about 15% of his stamina. His long-term stamina. So here we're going to take our time. You notice how I'm not letting him press us back up against the fence. Or get us outside of that black line. We're just taking our time. Uriah Faber does have really, really good boxing combinations in this game. And he has pretty decent power. He has 93 punch speed with 93 punch power. So we could do something with that. Especially when we're going up against another Uriah Faber. Right there, he's throwing back the, la the calf kick. We're taking our time. Popping off that jab. Right there, caught him with a clean three-piece. And now you notice how I'm not just walking forward. I'm stepping back when I need to when I notice my head health is down or I'm at a stamina disadvantage. Right there, popping out that jab. He's going for the four-piece. Just taking our time. Almost cracked him with another three-piece. He's more content with just exchanging with us in the pocket. He's right there working that nice calf kick. Nice jab straight into the block. 
Nice slip hook right there by us. Prevented us from getting in that takedown animation. And there we shoot for our own takedown. And he did a good job of denying it, but his stamina was really low off that. It's right here. We're just staying patient with it. Nice slip straight. And I could already tell he's getting real frustrated because he can't find the timing to land some of these combinations that he just throwing wildly. Right there, hit him with a nice lead hook into the, the calf kick. Which, if you guys don't use that combination, I feel like you guys should definitely work that in if you guys like to leg kick. Right there, got the first leg health event. And now we're in, we're in firm control of this round. As long as we don't do anything dumb, we're gonna uh, we're gonna win this round pretty easily. Cause I'm dictating the pace. I'm landing the more damaging shots right there. Nice elbow off the body block. There he's gonna clinch us up, try to get them free elbows that everybody and they mama seems to be going for in UFC five as of late. So right here we're still just playing it patient. Nice uppercut off the block. So I need to be a little more cautious when I'm going down to the body because he's countered me twice. It's so right there, landing a nice combination. Ooh, nice slip straight by him though. Ooh, broke through the block with that clean combination. But look at the stamina consumption on him though. We've landed a lot of heavy damaging shots to the head. Nice calf kick. And it's going to be the end of the second round. Now, we did a perfect job with Uriah Faber coming back in that second round. And that's how you really have to do it with him. You have to you have to put yourself in the pocket where you might feel uncomfortable. Because if you're playing out at long distances, it's that's not going to be how you use this new alter ego Uriah Faber. It's not. So you want to strike, try to put pressure on, and then go to grappling. So here in this third round, let's see how he adjusts. Crack that calf kick. There he shoots for another takedown, but this time we was ready for it, unlike the first round. We try to push him, but he did a good job of throwing the jab out. Now, what we want to be aware of is that clinch, because if he starts going for clinch elbows, those things are the most annoying things in the world to have to deal with, man. So that's why you see me throw out that push animation. All right, we're circling off. Nice combination right there by him, though. Breaking down that block. Ooh, cracked him with a clean three-piece into the two-piece. And he had to respond. And we knew that, so we went ahead and held up the block. Right there, nice jab-jab uppercut. Working the body, then back up to the head with a clean mix-up combo. And I can tell you guys, this Uriah Faber feels really, really clean inside the pocket. He seems really quick. His movement isn't too bad. He can still escape out of the pocket when he needs to. And overall, he feels really, really nice. Right there, cracked him with a nice jab lead hook, dropped him. Going with a nice knee to the head that got us a clean knockdown. He shoots for a double leg. We deny that. And look at where his stamina is at, ladies and gentlemen. Look at where it is at. So we're going to go ahead and make him work on the ground again. We're going to take our time down here just like we did when he was on top. Punching that body. Lowering that body held down. Faking the full mount. Punching the body. He fakes full guard. That time he actually went for it. But, hey, we're... We're laying and praying on him right now, ladies and gentlemen. There we get the full guard. We're going to get back up to our feet because he did have the GA advantage right there. And I didn't really want him to end up sweeping us and getting us in a bad position. It's right here with a minute 30. We're sitting pretty in this round too, ladies and gentlemen. And you can see the volume from him has, has slowed. It's really gone down because of that stamina. Right there, nice jab to the body, lead hook up top. Oh, we barely missed on that slip, that slip hook. Still just taking our time though, not rushing anything. Body up to the head, nice check lead hook by him though. He's still in it. He's still in it. We're just taking our time though. We don't need to rush. We don't need to rush to get a finish. 
Nice lead uppercut. Oh, he threw an uppercut as I was going down to the body and then tried to counter with the elbow. So he's anticipating me going down to the body. That's for sure. And that's going to be the end of the third round. Now, though our face is bloody and cut the hell up, we are definitely winning this fight two rounds to one, ladies and gentlemen. We've drained that stamina down so damn low that this guy has to really pay attention to what he's throwing. And that's something that you can do with Uriah Faber in this weight class. You can gas people out because he does have really, really good cardio in the featherweight division. So here he didn't get a lot of stamina recovery as we get another leg health event. So right there, we can't be doing things like that to drain our own stamina down. But notice we're still taking our time. He's looking for the slip uppercut. Caught him with a clean rear uppercut of our own. Backing him up. Jabbing him. Jab. Just putting the pressure on him. Trying to get him to make a mistake. But he's doing a good job of, of minimizing how much he's throwing. Oh, nice uppercut in the three-piece combination. Double body hooks in the lead hook. Oh, we're just ripping that body now. Lowering that stamina even more. So now we smell blood, ladies and gentlemen. But notice how I'm just staying patient as he hits me with a beautiful overhand. There's another one, but he didn't have any stamina to knock me down, luckily. But this is why we're trying to just play it cool. But right there, we heard him. Backing him up to the fence. He's moving his head off. Oh, nice pull counter uppercut, though. And that's what we were worried about. Can we survive right here with Uriah Faber? Hit us with the elbow, and we were on the last sliver of health right there. He tried to posture up. We go for the arm bar right there, and we're going to get it. He goes for the immediate transition right there, but we blocked it. We're going to be able to get this arm bar and lower that submission bar halfway down. It's going to put us in a really, really good spot. He's going to push us back down to side control. We go for knee on belly. We're going for the finish right here, ladies and gentlemen. And we're able to get the job done right there. But it got a little iffy, didn't it? It got a little bit iffy in there. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, we Uriah Faber. We the California kids, so we can do that. You feel me? But that's it for the video, guys. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to slap that subscribe button as well as slap that like button so this video does get tossed into the YouTube algorithm. And let me know what you guys think about the alter egos. Do you guys like them? Do you guys not like them? I want to know in the comment section. I'm going to be responding to every single comment. But until next time, guys, take it easy. Be safe. Enjoy the rest of your guys' day, afternoon, evening, depending on where you guys are watching this from. And I will see you guys in the next video.